Hey, I'm Nicola. If you're like me, you're sick of hearing the phrase, the most important election of our lifetime. Um, but I'm here to tell you today, this one is no joke. We're electing our governor, and the governor's going to set the future of our state for the next four years. You know, the election, by the way, is three weeks from today. Now, we can either make it an election that we're going to be celebrating again right here, three weeks from today, or we can all sit home wondering why we didn't bother, because it is in your hands. It's going to be a very close election, but the issues are so important. My name is Jenny Perkin, I'm the statewide health care organizer with Maine People's Alliance. Libby Mitchell supports universal single-payer health care, which would provide low cost and good quality health care to all of Maine people. Paula Page is against and wants to repeal the national reform, which would mean that all those young adults who are able to stay on their parents' plans now would be back out without health care insurance. I think this election is really important uh, because I care about jobs and the economy. Libby Mitchell wants to invest in education and higher education and building roads and bridges. And I've heard Paula Page say many times uh, that he wants to cut funding for all of those things, and that scares me. We can make a difference. I know this recession is tough on young people and old people, but we're coming out of this the main way because we're working together. So I'm very concerned that if Paula Page is elected, um, we won't invest in those things that we need and our economy will suffer and that's why I'm supporting Libby Mitchell. How about growing food more in Maine so that it's clean and wholesome and Maine people can grow it and we can be healthier? How about opening the doors of the community colleges to those 4,000 people who are knocking on the door today to get in because they want skills? I'm supporting Libby Mitchell because she's been a longtime supporter of access to higher education and job training. Paula Page wants to run education like a business. You can't run a school like you would a Martin's. This isn't retail education. I want you to know what is at stake here. My opponent would like to repeal certain things from the Human Rights Act. I'm not sure what those things are, but I'll bet you one is sexual equality, gender equity. We do not want to turn back the clock on equality in marriage. Let's stand up for that. I want a governor that's going to um, sign a marriage law. <laughs> If, if one comes across yeah. her desk. Um, and, and I know that Libby Mitchell will do that. It, it really frightens me to think that, that our children are, are not going to be protected, that Katie and I can't you know, protect one another and watch yeah. out for each other in the ways that our friends can, our straight friends can. Mm -hmm. It's infuriating, it's frustrating. And I just want our kids and, and our relationship to be equally as honored as everybody else around us. I am not. I refuse to be called the status quo. I've been fighting for change every day of my life, and I know you're going to do the same. But I cannot win. I cannot win this election without you. So join me in turning out our friends and our family to vote this year and vote for Libby. I'm voting for Libby Mitchell because she's got what it takes. She's going to be able to get stuff done as our governor. It's important to me that young people in Maine get the education and the training they need to keep jobs here and open businesses here, and that's why I'm voting for Libby Mitchell. It's important to me that people have access to high quality, affordable health care, and that's why I support Libby Mitchell. Creative economy is something that's really important to me here in Maine. The Maine Arts Commission has done a tremendous job supporting Maine arts. I've heard that Paula Page is not even familiar with the term creative economy. Having access to the great outdoors and public land clean water and breathing healthy air is why I am voting for Libby Mitchell. The next governor is going to have to make some tough choices about the budget. I want to have someone in office who has education as a priority and that's why I'm voting for Libby Mitchell. Early voting has already begun. All you have to do is go to your local town clerk and cast your vote today. It depends on you, you got to make a choice, not much more.